Alright, so here is my day one, which is smaller than what day two is, but it's more pricey. If you heard that, that was my dog, Sugar. She's with me because she's scared of, like, thunder and fireworks and because there's assholes that just decide to, you know, have July 4th earlier than July 4th. So this is just like previews of my la 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 of my I'll, uh, for each one I'll do in-depth reviews and I'll do the same thing with the books here just like I did for the Gundam one and the 45th anniversary Kamen Rider one so I'm even gonna go good by quick here is the sick hero saga this is volume 3 this is the most recent one because, as you know, Gatak, no, this is fucking Gatak, I'm a fucking idiot, Gatak and Kabuto, and Dark Kabuto recent releases. So, I'll go more into that depth, to the depth, that later. So, I bought Kamen Rider Kuga Ultimate Form for $33. Uh, I bought... I bought that for like, what, 46 it's discount, and there's my dog Sugar staring at the floor. And so I bought this at Bluefin, yeah, and it's funny because every single booth, even like Tokyo Jungle and all the other big website sellers, all bought it from Bluefin. Because they are the main distributors of Kamen Rider Kuga. And here is also... Actually, that's a lot. I didn't buy this at Bluefin, so I bought it at... Motherfucker. I bought it at AnimeKing.com booth. AnimeKing.com I'll fucking post links when I do the in-depth reviews for that. And so, Dave. No, no. Don't say that, because you don't know my real name unless you know what my Facebook is. So, I bought this last one at toyarena.com, and this is a code. For like discounts, so as Gundams and a lot of things besides Transformers, they sell um, Kamen Rider as well. And this is one of the things that I put up on the Good Morning Cybertron Facebook page as part of the poll choices, the original poll choices, because. Rave and I Slip posted their own thing, which I will get to in a later video, mind you. <laughs> so, for a whopping $100, uh, two years after its release, which is pretty good because this includes tax and whatnot, because it's direct shipped from there, it is. Let me get it ready. Dun 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 dun! Warbot Defender! AKA not classic Springer. Which is awesome. So, as most of you know who owns this figure, outside of the box is actually a plastic box encasing it. But what Toy Arena did, they put a plastic wrap over the plastic wrap of this box. Which is nice. So this is... See, because two years ago, Fans Project Limited 2010, the first trip of Changer they ever did, and here they show you the, the die cast, which is nice. 
and since the second Warbot Defender is going to get released soon, what's that? Was it Broadside? I can't remember if it was Broadside or not, but it's an awesome, awesome thing, so after I review, well, after I leaf through day two of my haul, I'm going to post this as two separate videos and a combined video for a GMC haul video, so I'm gonna be very busy during this month because now I actually have a reviewing space. Finally! So you're gonna see a lot more activity from me. So, yeah.